dear friends my name is dr s b paul i am working with genesis technologies a company located in india in mumbai last 20 years we have been doing work on climate change studies basically on simulation and modeling work i am founder director of genesis technologies and genesis technology foundation this company was developed in the year 2007 and we have started to gradually gather informations the technologies what we are doing mostly related to climate change studies mitigation studies and various approaches and we have developed our indigenous technology given various system to various academic institutes across globe today i am going to talk about climate change studies in india with various approaches simulation and modeling the kind of technology what we are dealing mostly related to climate change studies i have told you a few technologies like temperature gradient tunnel tgt open top chamber free air co2 enrichment technology that is phase technology free air ozone enrichment technology that is faoe free air temperature enrichment technology that is the fet elongated tunnels co2 elevated bioreactors as i have told you those are simulation modeling job but there are few things we want to makes your paper before developing such kind of system first of all it is important to have the system designing the procurement of components the development of monitoring and control system data storage data management system operation and system support those are the basic foundation to develop any kind of projects first the technology what i am going to refer is open top chambers that is otc technology co2 elevated otc technology is capable of providing a means by which environment around growing plants may be modified to realistically stimulate future concentration of atmospheric co2 as i have told you those open top chambers are made of polycarbonate sheets uv protected and its top portion is open so in this you try to grow plants with specific co2 level different crops and you try to create the adaptive conditions over there and throughout the season you try to maintain certain kind of co2 level so the set of experiment 
let me explain to you how the schematic will look like there are open top chambers let's say you have six open top chamber out of six open top chambers you can have one can be treated for control one for temperature one for co2 and one for co2 plus temperature another it can have two different co2 levels basically once you want to do any kind of research you want to see that how the exposed co2 level is been impacted like the towards the development of the plant growth how the physiological and other aspect of plants is been enhanced or whatever the biochemical changes takes place because of different co2 level so those otcs can be used for treatment of plants of different co2 level and different temperature level as i have told you temperature can be ambient plus 2 degree 3 degree co2 level like normal otc where you are not exposing co2 it has got 380 to 400 ppm co2 level the other otc you can have a co2 treatment of 450 to 700 to 800 ppm but the important aspect is throughout the crop season we are maintaining whatever parameters we are setting the important criteria of those projects is like you need to have the complete system with co2 releasing co2 discharge you need to have the complete data logging control and everything like you no know, these are fully control automatic system where starting from the co2 release to data setting everything is controlled through the pc so there is not much human interference once you start operating this system so i am not getting into much more logic or detail control and automation part it is very complicated system but just to tell you uh, those systems are uh, is is been designed for co2 as well as you can have ozone and other few environmental parameters if you some of interest you can do that so accordingly the configuration and other things can be changed we have developed various open top chambers in india and this is uh, the schematic of otc where we are using uh, infrared heating system and Wi-Fi technology like Wi-Fi technology for communication control and automation so going back this is one system what we have provided for an institute in located in Gwalior College of Agriculture this is independent open top chamber with polycarbonate structure with temperature drip irrigation humidity co2 soil moisture soil temperature ozone and co2 monitoring and control option and we have given one option for 20 kva dg sets so this is a typical data logging like we are using web based scada wireless communication system for data logging monitoring and control for open top chamber you can have the complete data logging control system so you can have each chamber like no data can be monitored and stored whatever parameters like temperature humidity co2 soil moisture soil temperature par all those parameters can be monitored and stored whatever parameters we want to control and monitor that can be the data logging can be done so this is uh, the 
part of this, this is control with anemometer. We have provided the rain sensor, soil moisture, CO2 temperature, humidity, power, pyranometer, drip irrigation facilities with wireless communication facilities. Again, this is the part of College of Agriculture, Goal Your Project. And interestingly, we have also provided a 20,000 liter CO2 tank with chiller, vaporizer, pressure reduction system, regulator. So this is a complete tank we have provided for uh, supply of CO2 for this particular system. So this is a typical temperature sensor with radiation shield with power, pyranometer, weather probe enclosure for CO2 humidity ozone monitoring system. This is an instrumentation console setup that what we have provided over here. Uh, this is overall look of this project. This is uh, it, you have got the infrared heater and CO2 tank. All those things can be seen from these photographs. So this so what we have done. The first system we have developed for Koropur IIT. This is one OTC developer for Koropur IIT. We have developed at OUT Bhubaneswar. That is in Orisha. OUT Bhubaneswar, same project we have done it. This is what we have done it for Ikrishat, Hyderabad. So this is also a big project we did it for Hyderabad. This is at Bharatidasan University, this is down south. Uh, we have done this project. This is also for the Bharatidasan University. This is uh, we have done a project for OTC at CPCRI, Jalandhar, Central Potato Research Institute at Jalandhar. We did it for that. And uh, this we have done it for FRI, that is Forest Research Institute, Dehradun. And this OTC is for Tamil Nadu, TNU Tamil Nadu Agriculture University. Again, this is another project we did it for TNU, that is for wetland for Department of Microbiology and Bioengineering Department. We did it for them. So if you see the overall, there are all together Many institute like you no know, starting from IRI, OUT, ICR Patna, IIT Kharagpur, NBI, Bangalore, AU, that is Assam Agriculture University, Ikrisat, Bharati Dasar University, CPRI, FRI, IIPR, so University of Dubai, Tamil Nadu Agriculture University, Hyderabad University. ADA, CRI, that is the part of TNU, Trichy, that is again RVS, KVV, Gwalior, and Central University of Gujarat. So in India, beyond that also there are many institutes that we have done projects, even though those names are not mentioned here. So. Those projects, the inter interesting part is the those projects are still in operation and uh, there are so many scientists, they are involved and working for various crop development program and uh, Genesis Technology, we are supporting those projects for their research and development and after warranty period and everything that has been provided by us, we have a set of engineers, service facilities, supporting team that is there providing all those systems support for their research and development activities. So I will come back to the second technology that we are providing that is free air CO2 enrichment. This is also a very interesting technology in open atmosphere, how you can enrich CO2 with a very controlled, precise way to check the impact studies of plant growth and responses in various climatic conditions with exposed CO2 level, exposed temperature level and uh, those, those works are going on. There are various institutes, they are involved with. So 
initially you know few years back when in india those technologies are not available most of the technology you, you, india used to have collaboration with various universities from abroad like you no know, namely brookhaven national laboratories and few other labs they are the pioneer those areas but in india now we are the first company are able to do successfully various projects and it's a proven project we it is indigenous technology the advantage of those technologies are like it's very low cost compared to the collaborative work if you are doing it from us or any other countries so at initial days government of india used to spend millions of dollars for climate change studies because technologies are not known to them now the sep technology is available with one fifth of the the money what you used to spend earlier so this is the real beauty of this project and on and above and we are giving the indigenous lead the technical support and everything though we are also saving a lot of money and since we have we have understanding of the technical know how well so coming back to the face system this face facility is capable of providing means by which the environment around growing plants may be modified to realistically stimulate future concentration of atmospheric co2 so uh those words uh, like no let me explain to that how it is so to execute this op thing you need to have a system which is a consist of co2 tank cylinder vaporizer high volume blower octagonal or wide shaped ring for air distribution vertical vent pipes for releasing co2 into exposure area sensors to measure wind speed wind direction co2 concentration and we provide a computer control system to regulate and monitor co2 and other parameters so this is a typically phase ring you can see this is a hexagonal or octagonal ring you can have a dia of from 6 meter to 10 meters with a height close to 10 15 feet you can do that again the logic control is very simple here you you release co2 in a precise way from one part to different arms and we are controlling uh co2 level and whatever logic control we have developed it it's a uh, taken the few parameters like uh, the wind speed wind direction temperature and the present co2 level so once you set the co2 for the specific ring uh so it is automatically co2 analyzer is there is trying to analyze what is the existing co2 level and accordingly co2 release and discharge takes place based on like uh, the existence of co2 level at the present on real time basis the release and close we use a lot of solenoid action we use the scada platform for controlling uh the face uh, the, the the concentration of this co2 the mathematical calculation the way it goes because when once we use a lot of variable factors like co2 temperature and other parameters so co2 release and mathematical calculation also is done such a way so around the ring that we try to maintain the specific co2 level such a way it doesn't create the gradient atmosphere so, uh, co2 release close on and off also like you no know, it is done automatic way so we have done various phase project that is the free air co2 enrichment project for various research institute in india to name a few that is that is ms swaminathan research foundation we did a project we have done at nbri that is national botanical research institute csir institute located in lucknow india so we have done various project for in bri lucknow and we have done couple of rings for them for other various application that includes temperature ozone so 
for last 10 years possibly they are using various uh, uh, rings for their research and development purpose so this we have done it for ecrisat hyderabad this is international research institute located in hyderabad so they are working on various legumes and other seasonal crops so climate change mitigation studies they are one of the agenda to develop various crops so they are doing it this we did it for JNU that is Jawaharlal Nehru University and uh, this ring they have used for the crop mustard seed and other crops for studies there they have done a lot of CO2 elevation studies they are mostly work related to photosynthesis and flowering how they are impact, impacting like you know, once you discharge certain CO2 level and how the flowering pattern photosynthesis level changes takes place that is their main objective we don't deal with much more activities uh, what they actually do but uh, but we can understand uh, sometimes once we do the little interaction with scientific community they say what are their objective we try to understand and pick up certain points from them so this we did it for IHBT Palampur this is a CSI research institute this is a big project we did for them and uh, regarding Palampur, this is again the CSR Institute. There are many rings we have developed for them. Both temperature CO2 studies they have done, like you no know, various research projects over there. There are various publications. Mostly they are working on the Himalayan high altitude altitude uh, crops. They try to grow and see the impact of CO2 level inside the ring. Uh, this is a project we did it for MH Swaminathan Research Foundation. This picture is is one of the great scientists that we all know is Dr. MH Swaminathan, father of Indian Green Revolution, and he has got uh, various contribution towards the development of research in the agricultural field in India and uh, he came for an inauguration for this project so so far in india we have developed many